Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to teach you how you're going to multiply, divide, add, and subtract integers. So let's start. By the way, pag sinabing integers, ito yung mga numbers na mga positive numbers. Kung makikita nyo dito sa aking illustration, sa number line, ito yung mga nasa right side. Okay? Kasama rin yung mga nasa left side, yung mga negative numbers. And also the zero. Mga examples niya, negative 300, negative 4, 0, 12, 209. These are examples of integers. While itong negative 1 half, negative 5.6, 5, square root of 5, 4 and 1 third, they are not integers. Okay. Next, pupunta muna tayo sa multiplication of integers. In multiplication of integers, pag like signs equal to positive kagad. When unlike signs, equal to negative kagad. So, tandaan nyo, positive times positive because positive. Negative times negative because positive. Kapag unlike signs naman, positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is also negative. Magbigay tayo ng examples. So, dito sa part na to, eto, eto yung mga iba't ibang notation ng multiplication. So, pwede siya naka-x, pwede siya naka-parenthesis, Pwede rin siyang merong dot sa gitna. Yung dot na ay nasa gitna kasi kung nasa lower part siya, decimal point na. So, 4 times 3, mga same sign ito, kapag kapares positive, the answer is positive, then multiply the numbers. So, 4 times 3 is 12. All of this ay 12 kasi same sign yung lahat. So, kapag naging 3 times 4, since na same sign yan, still it is positive 12. If you have 1 multiplied by um, 20, the answer is still 20. Since positive yan, positive pa rin ang answer. What if you have negative 4 times negative 3? So same negative yan, pareha sila ng sign. The answer is still positive and 4 times 3 is 12. Next, what if kung magkaiba ng sign? So sabi natin kanina, balik tayo. Kapag ka unlike sign, the answer is negative. So, let's multiply. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So, the same. 4 times negative 3 is still negative 12. Kasi unlike sign sila. Okay? Next. What if kapag ganito na yung question? Tatlong integers na siya. So, ang gagawin nyo, multiply nyo muna yung dalawa. So, we have 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Tsaka nyo i-multiply yung negative 12 dito sa negative 2. So, the answer will be 24. At since parehas sila ng sign, the answer is positive. Next, what if kung 4 integers in a row na? So, same lang rin ang gagawin natin. Dala-dalawa muna, we have negative 12. Dito naman, we have negative and negative is positive, then 2 times 1 is 2. Saka natin i-multiply yung mga answers dito sa baba. So, negative 12 times 2 will be negative 24. Okay. So, let's proceed now to division of integers. In dividing integers naman, same lang rin siya doon sa multiplication. So, hindi kayo masyadong mahirapan. But you have to divide the numbers. Let's have an example. Ito yung mga iba't ibang notation para sa dividing integers. Pwede siyang may guit sa gitna, pwede yung naka ganitong symbol, at saka yung slash. So, question. Negative 35 divided by negative 7. So, sa silang negative, the answer is positive. Then, 35 divided by 7 will be 5. So, the answer is positive 5. Okay, next question we have. 24 divided by negative 8. So, as you can see, unlike sign siya, so ang answer kagad is negative. Then, 24 divided by 8 will be 3. So, the final answer there is negative 3. Okay? Next, negative 36 divided by 12. So, again, unlike sign, magkaiba siya ng sign, ang sagot is automatically negative. Then, 36 divided by 12 will be 3. 
So the answer is negative 3. Next, 0 divided by negative 12. So since the numerator is 0, automatically the answer will be 0. And next, negative 8 divided by 0. If the denominator is 0, the answer is undefined or DNE does not exist. Okay? Let's go now to the addition of integers. Okay, sa addition of integers, meron tayong dalawang rules. Kapag ka like signs, add the numbers, then copy the common signs. Kapag unlike signs, we will subtract the numbers, then copy the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so example, 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3, since same sign sila or like sign sila, we will add the numbers, the answer will be 7. Ipakita natin ngayon sa number line kung tama yung answer natin. So, mag-start ka rito sa 4. Dito yung 4. And then, we will move our 3 units to the right kasi positive siya. So, mula sa 4, 1, 2, 3. So, nag-end up siya sa 7. Okay. Next is 2 plus 3. So, same sign we will add. That is 5. Same silang positive or use the same sign sa positive. So, pakita natin sa number line. Mag-start tayo sa number 2. And then, we will go 3 units to the right. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, nag-end up siya sa 5. Okay, next. What if we have negative 4 plus negative 3? So, same sign. I-add natin yung number which is 7. And then, copy the common sign. Since pareha silang negative, i-copy lang natin na negative siya. So, pakita natin sa number line from negative 4, ito yung negative 4, we will go 3 units to the left since negative siya. So, mula rito, 3 units to the left, pa left naman tayo. 1, 2, and 3. So, the answer is negative 7. Okay? Next, another question, negative 2 plus negative 3. So, same sign, we will cap, uh, add the numbers, that is 5, and then copy the same sign, which is negative. From negative 2, we will, uh, we will go to the left, 3 units. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, it will end up dito sa negative 5. So, the answer is negative 5. Next, what if the signs are not the same or they are having unlike signs. So, ang sabi kanina, balikan natin, we will subtract the numbers then copy the sign of the bigger number. So, balik tayo dito sa question. Next, we have negative 2 plus 3. So, kapag kanilagin natin sa number line na mag start tayo sa negative 2, okay, then we will move 3 units to the right since it's positive 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, the answer will be positive 1. Okay? Okay, ah, pwede mo naman siyang, pwede na lang tayo mag-subtract ng numbers which will give us 1. And then, since mas mataas si 3 kesa sa 2, ang sign ni 3 is positive, we will use the sign of 3. So, the answer is positive 1. Okay, next, we have 2 plus negative 3. So, start tayo sa positive 2. And then, we will move 3 units to the left. Kasi negative 3 siya. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, the answer is negative 1. Or, yung isang method, we will just subtract the numbers. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then, since mas mataas si 3 compared than 2, at ang sign ni 3 is negative, we will use negative. Okay? Next, 5 plus negative 1. So, starting from 5, we will go 1 unit to the left. Since negative 1. So therefore, the answer is 4. Or subtract the numbers, that is 4. 5 is higher than 1. The sign of 5 is positive. The answer is positive 4. And for the last, negative 5 plus 1, starting from negative 5, we will go 1 unit to the right since it's positive 1. So the answer is negative 4. Or subtract the numbers, 5 minus 1 is 4. Then Mas mataas si 5 compared than 1, we will use negative. Okay? What if we have negative 25 plus 35? 
gagamit pa ba tayo ng number line? So, masyado siyang mahaba. So, it will consume a lot of time. So, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, we will just subtract the numbers. 25 minus 25 will be 35 minus 25 will be 10. And then, since mas mataas si 35 compared to 25, ang sign ni 35 is positive, we will use positive here. So, the answer is 10. Okay, negative 28 plus negative 3. So, since they are having like signs, we will add the numbers. 28 plus 3 is 31. And then, since same negative, we will just use the same sign of negative. So, the answer is negative 31. Next, what if kapag ka ganito, nagkasama-sama na, no? So, pag samasamayan lang rin natin lahat ng negative, we have negative 17. And then negative 3. So, negative 17 and negative 3 will be negative 20. Next, we have 5 and 18. They are both positive, no? We will just add. That is neg uh, positive 23. Then we will just combine these two. So, the answer, since they are having different sign, or unlike sign, we will subtract, that is 3. Then, 23 is higher than 20, so the answer is positive 3, since the sign of the higher number is positive. Okay, so let us now go to the subtraction of integers. So, dito meron ako for examples, so let us use the number line once again. So, we have 4 minus 3. So, start tayo sa positive 4. Ito yung positive 4. And then, we will go 3 units to the left since it's negative 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 1. And you all know, kahit wala mo number line, that 4 minus 3 is 1. Yung 4, babawasan ng 3. Ang sagot ay isa na lang. What if we have 3 minus 4? So, start tayo sa number line ng ulit. So, mula 3, we will go 4 units to the left. Kasi negative 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer is negative 1. So, mula 3 papunta doon sa negative 4, magkakamap pa doon sa negative 1. So, the answer is negative 1. Or, tatlo bawasan ng 4, syempre kulang ka ng isa. So, kaya ayan ay negative 1. Next, paano kapag nagkasunod na itong mga negative na to? So, huwag kayong may stress. Ang gawin natin, kapag ka meron nagkasunod na sign, gagamitin natin yung rules ng multiplication. So, negative times negative, alam natin, isimplify muna natin to negative times negative will be positive. So, magiging 3 plus 3 na siya. Okay? So, alam niya naman, the 3 plus 3, same sign yan, we will add that is positive 6. Next, another, meron naman nagkasunod na sign. So, negative times negative, that is positive. So, magbabago na yan. Magiging negative 3 plus 3. And, kapag ka sa addition, kapag unlike sign, sinusubtract natin siya. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, alin ang susundin nating sign? Hindi natin malaman kung sino dyan ang mas mataas kasi parehas lang naman siya. So, kapag ganun, wag na natin lagyan ng sign since 0 has no sign. It is not positive, it is not negative. Okay? So, next. So, what if kapag ka matataas na yung mga integers, like this, negative 34 minus negative 24, gagamitan pa ba natin siya ng number line? So, hindi na. So, gawin natin, simplify natin siya. So, negative 34 magiging negative 34. Negative times negative is positive. 24. So, sa addition ulit ng integers, pag unlike sign, so subtract natin. So, magiging 10. And then, since 34 is bigger than 24, regardless of the sign, we will use the sign of 34. That is negative. So, the answer is negative 10. Another, negative 34 minus positive 24. So, isimplify muna natin para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, negative times positive is negative. So, magiging negative 34 minus 24. So, since same sign na siya, we will just add the two numbers. That is 58. And then, we will use the common sign which are both negative. So, negative 58 ang tamang 
answer. Before I end this video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. LDN Daligan. If you like this video, like na lang to and then also share this to your friends out there. So, bye-bye! Thank you.